everybody, TLOS is here. Finally, I've chosen the game. And why not Super Mario 64? Pfft. My friend Gamer Nader 8192. Yeah, that's his name. Gamer Nader 8192 was playing Super Mario 3D Land. And what do I choose? Super Mario 64. It's like a Mario uh, month today. Oh, look. Mario cheapishly, well, fighting Bowser. I, I, like, I can't believe it. The, the game is like so horrible. Well, that's kind of a spoiler. So much a spoiler. Oh my, oh, I hate this guy. Anyway. Let's start. Oh yeah, you see I've played on I've like erased three of these just so I could play this game. Um uh, do, 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 do. So Mario A has 113 stars. Originally it had 110 stars, but I went when uh, got all the coin stars. Oops, spoiler. So we'll start with uh, Mario B. Okay. And there's pretty speech. Dear Mario, please come to Pfft, Wow. That was just horrible. I hate her voice. It's so comical. And there's the lack of two that follows us everywhere. Literally. Pfft. I'm like, how in the world? Dun 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 dun. That's the horriblest pipe I've ever seen. And crappy Mario's crappy. Oh well. Sayo. No, that says goodbye. That's goodbye in Spanish. Not hello. You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via warp pipe. Via a warp pipe. Sorry. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs, too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now, let's now head for the castle. Okay, so the N64 controller is a bit different than the Wii remote, plus nunchuck, the Wii U uh, thing, whatever it is, um, and the GameCube, the... 3DS and the 2DS and blah blah blah. So basically, this this is the an N64 game, which is a very nice one too. We long jump. Anyway, uh, and it's been around here since uh, maybe the 1900s, 1930s, 40s, 50s. I have no idea. Um. Well, this is the first Mario game to actually have 3D platforming, so you have a big thank you. We have to thank Super Mario 64 for pl this platform. Because the last game was Super Mario RPG, which was released on the Super Nintendo. If you didn't know, it was an old system that kind of like died out recently. So, as the game said, First off, you control Mario with the control stick. You can tiptoe, seriously, you can tiptoe if you press the, 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 the thing, the, the control stick in a direction very, very lightly. And you could run at full speed if you just press the controller all the way to whichever direction you want. B is attacking. A is jumping, and you can do, ah, god darn it, you can do a triple jump. Hiya! And then stylish like that. Now if you're, well, if you press A, A and then B, you'll do like this dolphin slide thing. And then if you press Z, never mind. So, 
if you're running and you press B, you can do that. Now you can also press A to jump and grab all the trees, and then you just climb up, and then do that, and then if you press A again, you'll jump off stylishly. Except that can be a real hazard. Um, what next? Oh yeah, if you press Z, you crouch. And if you, if you uh, press the control stick forward, or in any direction, you'll crawl like a baby. Which is pretty hilarious, because uh, first off, it's super slow, and second off, he looks like baby Mario, just in a 64-year-old body. Sorry. Anyway, if you crouch, then press A, you can do a backflip. Um, and if you run, press Z, and then A, like very quickly, then you can do a long jump. See? Long jump. So that's very useful. Oh! Since there's water here, derpy de derp, I can show you how to swim. Okay, so you're in the water, and you don't know how to swim. Well, first, if you press and hold A, you'll, well, kick your way across the water. And, uh, if you press A, like, multiple times, you'll go faster. Now underwater, you can hit, I don't know, and to go up, you press the control stick down, and to go down, you press the control stick up. It's like reverse psychology, 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 remember that smash, it's psychology. Anyway, um, meh, 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 meh. You see that my health goes down if I'm underwater, and if I'm underwater t for too long, then I die. And I don't want to die, so... Oh yeah. First off, you can't access doors um, under the water, and you can't do normal stuff like hit bricks and blah blah blah. So, let's uh, go in the castle. Uh, Mario, get your hand out of the thing. Whatever. Good afternoon. The Lactus Bros here, reporting live from just outside Princess's castle. Mario has just arrived at the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. Dude, you're like... Ah, uh, whatever. He's just breaking the fourth wall over here. As seasoned cameramen will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. Yeah, I forgot to tell you about the C buttons. If we can't adjust, adjust the view any farther, we'll buzz. To look at the surrounding stop and press C up. There are four C buttons. There's C up, C down, C left, and C right. You'll learn about them later. Press A to, to resume play. That doesn't make any sense at all. Switch camera angle mode, camera modes with the R button, which is on the top right of the controller. That's why it says R. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Bros. That's been shitty. Anyway, so as the camera guy said, um, you can press C up to look around and you just control Mario's head with the C-stick. Also, you can't uh, revolve your head around like an owl, so basically you'll have to turn around in order to see that way behind you and everything, so. And also, you can zoom out with C down, makes you see a better, a better angle. And with C left and right, you can change the camera angles. Yeah. R is Mario's view, and the, ooh, it's horrible. I don't like it at all. Yeah, so you press right. Left doesn't do anything, and even though there's a D-pad on the N64 controller, you do not use it at all. Well, most games for the N64, you do not use it at all. 
except if it's important. I love that. Welcome. No one's home. Now scram and don't go back. I wonder who the frick was that. If it ain't obvious enough, it's Bowser. Oh righty then. So we have zero stars. It stays right here. And we have four lives, which uh, obviously states it right there. And what in the world is this? A toad, eh? Hi there, toad. I am, am I glad to see you. The princess and I, and well, everybody, we're all trapped inside the castle walls. But where's Princess Peach? Can you tell me that? No? Okay, fine. Bowser stole, has stolen all the castle, the castle stars, and he's using the power to create his own world in the paintings of walls. World? It should be worlds, because there's like... 13. Please recover the power stars! As you find them, you use their power to open doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms on the fourth, first floor. Start in the one with the painting of the bum inside it. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. Then how come there's two rooms that aren't sealed? When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. Princess must be inside. Okay. Well, um, I'm kind of running out of time, so this has been Tiello, Tiello S. And I'll see you in the next episode.